Today in our Beginner's Guide to Embroidery series, we are going to be talking about thread. Rayon, polyester, which one should I use? Which one's better? Hopefully with the information provided, you'll be able to determine which one's best for you. Hey everybody, Trisha here with Sewing Parts Online. So before we start talking about thread, if you could take a moment to please like and subscribe, that way you'll get notified of any future video that we have. In this series, we've already released choosing a machine, stabilizers, and needles. And we've got a couple more to come. Ah, thread. Beautiful embroidery thread. Embroidery thread has a vibrant color reflecting sheen to it. It just gives your projects a nice, bold, beautiful result. Embroidery thread can be made from different materials, but the most common are probably going to be rayon and polyester. Rayon used to be the standard for embroidery, however that's no longer the case anymore. It was the most popular at its time just due to the fact that it was readily available and it had that high sheen, where in the past polyester wasn't as, or didn't have as much of a sheen. That's not the case anymore either. Of the two, rayon is softer and it does lay nicely. However, polyester is stronger. So you have to look at your project and see which one would be more fitting for you. So if it's maybe a more delicate, not really used item, something that'll be set up more decorative, rayon may be a great option for you. Whereas if it's something that it's going to be laundered a lot or like a towel, I would suggest going with a polyester. Although rayon and polyester are probably your more common options, you can get embroidery thread made of other fibers as well, such as silk. Rayon and silk are really great for lightweight fabric, and polyester, in my opinion, works better when you move up into the heavier weight fabric. Polyester thread is gaining popularity just due to its strength. Take a look at this. This is the rayon thread. Even with it being a good quality thread, when I pull on it, it snaps. Now, this is the polyester thread. It takes a lot more to get it to snap. If you ask anybody that's been embroidering for a while, you'll soon find out what their favorite brand is. You'll quickly learn what works well for you and for your machine, mainly because you won't be rethreading your machine all the time. Also, once your project is done, your stitches just look really nice. Do you have a favorite embroidery thread? Please comment below. I'd love to hear what you're using. I found that my baby lock likes the Madeira poly neon thread. This is a two ply 100% polyester option. It works great for frequently washed textiles. So what I'm currently working on is going to be washed quite a bit. So good option for me. It's very affordable and has a bunch of different colors available. Another brand that I really like is Hemingworth. Besides the beautiful sheen on it, Hemingworth thread also comes in this nice plastic container and it will help prevent unraveling and tangling, and it also keeps your thread nice and clean and dust-free. There are a bunch of different brand options, but another one that I do want to mention is Isocord. With Isocord thread, I don't even like to do the snap test because I end up hurting my fingers. It's a strong, high-quality embroidery thread and is used among some of the largest embroidery houses. I could go on and on, but I do want to touch on metallic thread. When using metallic thread, you really want to swap out your needle for a metallic needle because otherwise you are going to have a headache. The metallic needle has an elongated needle eye, which allows the thread to go through the eye easily and avoids breakage. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our episode on needles. Lastly, I want to touch on bobbin thread. This is a 60 weight polyester bobbin thread. The lighter bobbin thread helps prevent your upper thread having to fight for tension. I've heard of people using the same thread that they use on the top on the bottom. I tried that and it just caused a mess for me. So my manual recommended using the 60 weight, so that is what I did. And when doing that, I've not had any issues. Always listen to your manual. It's your best friend. In this episode, I've only mentioned a few options. If you visit us at SewingPartsOnline.com, we have a thread section where you can filter out all sorts of different thread. If you need any help, be sure to reach out to us. We're available at info at SewingPartsOnline.com or like I said, comment below and I'll do my best to reply just as soon as I can. Make sure you stay tuned for our next video. We are going to be covering hooping. Until next time.